to be or not to be that is the question what it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or rather to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them to die to sleep no more and by a sleep to say we in the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to to consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep Sleep, perchance to dream. Hi, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurs that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin? Who would Pharaoh's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? That the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. For thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickly and all with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment. Disregard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. 